I'm here for the uh, Craft Design Swap Up. Um, I just want to talk about the project a little bit. Um, for this month's project we are making, and there's still time to join in, I'll put the link below. You go watch the video and say you want to sign up below, you get a free craft pack and go into the draw to also win a major prize pack. And that's just the people in the swap. The viewers get their own prizes too. It's going to be a swap up. So all you're going to do is get a, a thick book to alter. As long as it's not too big or too small. Um, this is perfect. I paid three bucks for it at the up shop. So use your imagination. There's no real restrictions. It just has to be alchemy style, steampunk, witchy style. So this is what I, I got from the op shop. Now in it you can choose to uh, leave your pages um, like this. Um, if you don't want the writing showing, what you can do is stick a couple together and then put parchment paper on each side or tea dyed paper. So you might stick a few together, stick a few together, do that. And on one of the pages, you're to put 10 spell pages. So print them off the Pinterest and then stick them down. Or you can put a secret compartment in there or a hidden drawer. Now, I like the idea of putting a hidden drawer. Now, as we all know how to put secret compartments, all you have to do is um, get your ruler, do a line, do another line, do another line. But I want to do a secret drawer. So this is the first time I've done it. I'm learning with you. So the way I want my hidden drawer to work, I want the hidden drawer to come out. I want a bit of paper, say, left here and a bit of paper left here. So I'm just going to eyeball it and say maybe about that much paper there and I'll put a little file in there to mark it and then here I'll say maybe that much paper there so that looks about right so the draw will start from here depending I don't know if you already have a drawer available to pull in and out. Uh, I don't yet. I think I'll just end up making the box later. So I'm just going to start cutting. All right. And I'll turn it like this so you can see what I'm doing better. Hopefully. Good idea to measure. So let's see. We've uh, it's about nine and a quarter inch. So find your centre. It's about here, roughly. All right. So maybe mark the centre there, and maybe leave about an inch here and an inch there yeah all right and maybe we want it going coming down to an inch as well so it's gonna be a pretty big draw all right so Don't worry about going too deep at the start, you just want to get the basic feel for it, yeah. There we go. And then 
then after that I'll probably start working on the little pills and potions that I talked about and I've got my cute little bottles so then I might just um, try and make them look a bit more witchier and I'll pop those into the little um, thing so yeah so I don't have to do the spells I can always add the spells at those front pages I might just add one spell you know um, okay so Just keep going deeper and deeper until you reach so I'm gonna have to put it back here. Just gonna keep going deeper and deeper until I reach. bottom part these I wouldn't throw them out I would keep them Pages always come in handy. Doesn't matter if it's all messy looking. Just you can always come back and fix that. If you've got a, a machine that actually does cutting that'll probably be better so bit by bit just keep doing that This part might be looking a bit messy, but it's alright. Like I said, it's my first time doing it. Just go back and cut it, just to neaten it up a bit, you know. And uh, what you could even then do is... You know, you can put another piece of paper over that. So I'm just going to keep on doing that until I go down to where that file is. And then Greetings, I'll how are you? So yeah, this is how it looks like. So there's your compartment for the drawer. Now, I butchered it a bit, but it doesn't matter because... What I thought of doing to make that look better is you cut a piece of cardboard and stick it over so it's going to be hiding that. So where's the front? Yeah, it's going to be this way. 
Okay, so now what we're going to start doing is gluing down all the, the pages and this is just with a cheap, um, a cheap glue, school glue, this was like two, three bucks from the shop. And this is a bit tedious, but to be sturdy in that, you want to do this. Now, what I'm thinking is I wouldn't mind having a couple of spells in the beginning. Probably not the back, just the beginning. So I'll start going down. All the pages. Hold on. I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit through this. Hold on. I'm just going to quickly just do a couple and then I'll show you the top. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so, and with these ones, so you're going to glue all these, right? And then when you get to these ones, you know, you just, again, just use your cheap glue because you're going to be putting lots of glue on and really you don't need to use your expensive glue for this, you know. Right, and I'm not claiming to know what I'm doing. This is the first time I'm doing this, you know, but it's just common sense. Um... I got the idea to make this draw from the link in my original video and so remember this is going to be the draw it's going to come out so this has to be glued down to that page yep And you're just going to keep doing that. So we're going to glue all these pages down and all of these pages down. And then when that step is finished, I'll come back and show you how it looks like. Remember the front pages, the first few pages you got there, maybe 20 pages. We're going to leave them like that. I'm going to mess around and put some spells and stuff. I'll show you that, what I'm going to do with it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so this is how it looks like when it's done. I didn't end up leaving a few pages on the top uh, because to make the draw it really needs that to be secured. So um, yeah, it looks a bit messy now and that doesn't matter because I'm going to go over that. So that's all glue. It was a lot of work to be honest and a bit a, a tip so it all sticks down is to put something heavy over it overnight so now the only problem you will probably have like me is maybe some of these are sticking up so i'm just going to go over that with some glue don't even know if this glue is working i haven't used it in so, the best way to use glue like that is probably the brush. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in between like that. Oops, sorry guys, let me put my camera up, okay. So what I'm doing, do not put, that needs to be open there, that you, you just want to put the glue in between here where the pages didn't stick properly. So, so you know, just kind of find your spots. So now you just press down again. What you
you could do is find something that can fit in between there that you can press down. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And then you might want to turn it over this side and so see what I mean. It's starting to stick up there too. So it's really, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. If I knew that, I'll just stick to the spell pages. But I really want it to be challenged. I like the draw. So let's just put tons of glue into that. I think that's almost opened right up there. Don't want that. So the whole time when you're doing it, your back, your book will be going back, back. So make sure you push it forward so it's not, you know. Yeah, so it's kind of starting to unstick there as well. And then on this side here, it's also coming unstuck there so you might want to put some more glue down there Dwellers, if you're watching, no, I'm not. I'm not seeing your comments. Um, I tried to go back in the settings, but I can't find the part where it says who do you want to ban from your channel, type of thing. I'll, I'll keep on messing around trying to find it. Uh, You know, you just look for the spots that look like they should be glued down, you know what I mean? And don't worry about getting glue out outside your pages because it all dries up clear. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And to be quite honest, I'm not pleased with how it's not closing the way I want it to close, but it doesn't matter. Again, I am going to put that um, underneath something really heavy so it really kind of sticks. The main things you want sticking are these side things because that's what holds your book together. Okay, and I'll come uh, back and basically I will... I think I might start with the draw now while I'm here. Might as well. So, I was thinking of making it from a thick chipboard. Well, this is a good idea, eh? Oh, that's a shame, bit short. Um, this is an envelope holder that I found and what I was thinking of doing is cutting the box because the width is too big but just cutting the width down. See if you look at that you could see the width how it goes in I think it might scrape in. If you can get away with not having to make it from scratch, it's a lot easier. So, the 
width looks like it's about there. width would probably need to be roughly like that. Yep, that'll fit in, but it's just a bit long, but that's all right. Uh, what we can do is Put a little cut there, fold it up a bit, like that, and yep. See, everything you're looking at now is very, it's the base. So don't worry about it not being pretty and things like that. It's the base. Alright, so there's our draw. See that? So now we just have to work on, that's the base, making it look more constructive strong all right so let's work on these corners here Put a bit of glue there and this corner ended up getting fully chopped what have been here okay You can always make a box from scratch, couldn't you? But you know, whatever is easiest. I might don't like that. Um, gotcha. 
chipboard here. Right. Needs to be around there. in November. Oh, it is your birthday. No, it's not my birthday. My birthday's in February. Here we go. We're just making a little draw for this. Like that. Um, what I was thinking, it doesn't have to be a proper draw, does it? It can just be something for your little pills and potions and I ended up buying these so what I might do what I was thinking of doing is putting little compartments in oh is that going to fit no it's not going to fit is it pieces out thinking of doing is doing that not there and having that a knob to, or something that pulls it out and it's got your little gizmos your little pills and potions oh, hi sorry got cut off yeah so okay so what I've done so far is that's my drawer and thinking of putting the top over it like that and what I've done is I marked each side here so I know where to um, score it and I'm going to score it down like that to make the box so those red lines it's 
very hard to score chipboard. Jeez. So that's the box and what I was thinking was perfect. Now I'll put just um, so I know where it's going to be held till I can figure out what I'm going to do after that. Of course, I'm gonna have to hmm. oh, this is frustrating. Hold on, I'm gonna put my hot glue gun on and yeah. couldn't find the, the gun. So what I did was I went around the edges with glue and to hold it I put that washi tape, masking tape. So now I'm just going to have to even that out. So I'm going to just cut that. Help 
I just go up. It's alright. Okay. Maybe let it dry before you do that. But <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this back, this part here. See what I mean by the glue? Like that's all I did was that Arlene's tacky glue. It's just go around there. Don't worry about it being messy because you're going to fix it up, aren't you? On the corners here. Yeah. Like that. And that's pretty strong glue. It's holding it. So, you see what I'm doing with the concept of making the box? I'm playing around. So what I'm going to do then, after this dries, is cut that bit off. Right? And then, um, cut the, the top top bit off so it's like a drawer that you pull in and out do you know what I mean because if I don't cut this bit off or what I could do is leave it like that so when the person pulls it out they pull out the whole thing and all the little things are inside do you know what I mean I think I might do that actually so yeah uh, when it is fully dry I will Come back with the next step. Thank you.